Joseph Ness and Sterling Johnson have busy workloads. On top of working together in this wood shop, they also study at USC, one economics, the other engineering. But in their free time, they've been working on a new kind of project. Uh, me and Joe have been friends for um, years now, since like freshman year of high school, yeah. and we both uh, just wanted to own our own company. For six weeks, they turned an empty van into something a little more comfortable, something people can live in. But there's been a little learning curve. This isn't a house, so there's not square walls that you just like cut an even square, put it together, you have to shape yeah. it to the van. It's like if the door, like you can put a door here, it'll physically fit, but when you open it, it's gonna interfere with this. The van has a lot of features you'd see in any house, including a sink, a stove top, and a full-size bed. It even has a shower inside. That way, the owner doesn't have to set up a shower outside. It's a major selling point as more people decide against putting down their roots and opt for a life on the road. Jimmy Lenz is an assistant professor at the Darla Moore School of Business. He says more young people have decided to ditch home ownership than past generations. And I think a lot of millennials realize that the fact that homes are terrible investments. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're bad for savings accounts. That's, that's it. The Federal Reserve found in 2019 only 4% of real estate was owned by millennials. But Len says it's not just about the money. It's also about freedom. They, they want that, um, you know, that, that ability to pick up and um, you know, move a little bit more. That's exactly what Ness and Johnson say their clients are looking for. You already have everything you have yeah. right there. So you, you got your house. The two hope to join the van life themselves one day, but for now, they're working together, building a business oh, yeah. and their bond. So it's really become, it's it's become better friends. Yeah. For Carolina Insider, I'm Spencer Buckler.